Hello there guys, my name is Kaz Shadlongsterborn, but built for theme park news. Now you're probably thinking, what is this video? Well, you already see by the title by now. But you guys are probably thinking, this is the video where we actually celebrate 2,000 subscribers, right? Mm, yeah, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to record that. But uh, today is all about a massive theme park news update because I have seen in the last couple of hours, there's a possibility that Nemesis at Alton Towers is getting overhauled majorly in the next year or two. Now we do have an official uh, news report from Lift Hills and Thrills online. Make sure you go check out that article yourself. You can find it on Google for yourself. Uh, I have also linked it in the description down below so you can check out the article for yourself guys. Um, but yeah, the big story is Nemesis could be getting overhauled. So I'm going to talk every bit of information about this article and also share my thoughts as to what I think could happen, if this is true, of course. Not Alton Towers haven't officially confirmed anything at this stage. Uh, so as of recording this video, Alton Towers haven't confirmed anything yet. So maybe in the next few months, we could get an announcement from Alton Towers about this. But let's have a look. So first of all, before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Please comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers now. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, we're over halfway to 1 million views, and we're on the road now to 3,000 subscribers. So please get on there, get in the subscription box, watch the old videos, get the views up, and let's keep going, baby. Let's get your video ideas submitted as well, guys. Use the Google Forms link in the description down below. And also, if it's still down there by the time you're watching this, please go and vote for me using the link in the description for the Clamshell Awards 2020 if the vote is still open by the time you are watching this video. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the information from Lift, Hills and uh, Thrills uh, blog about the possibility of the overhaul of Nemesis at Alton Towers. So through the article on Lift, Hills and Thrills, it has been reported that Nemesis may be undergoing a major overhaul in the next year or two, as various guests over the weekend were told by the news by a senior member of staff. Now, Alton Towers haven't confirmed anything officially at this stage, so I want to note that. Now, as you know, when it comes to, this, to, to site reporting rumours, there's only more than one confirmation of speculation usually. So when you know a rumour is serious, you know it's going to be more than one... Uh, sort of confirmation of this speculation um, and of course we know on this channel that rumours can fly about anywhere however over the weekend numerous reports were coming in that a key member of staff at Alton Towers had confirmed Nemesis would indeed be overhauled within the next two years and would mean Nemesis would be closed for an entire season the staff member wasn't named uh, in case it let slip by accident however this wasn't the first time that news were murmuring in the summer regarding the future of Nemesis. Now, the ride was also closed down towards the tail end of 2020, so it could be possible, meaning that work is already underway, but we won't find out until the start of next season. If those ear-fluttering B&M rolls are heard from the car park, we know it won't be until 2022, but if there's silence, then 2021 could very well be the season chosen for a complete rehaul. 26 years young, opening at Alton Towers on the 19th of March 1994, an overhaul could mean the Nemesis could get a retrack and indeed new trains. Now, there's already a worry, according to the article, that a retracking could potentially lose the classic ride experience, but at the same time, it needs to stay as close to the original. The thought of it even changing scares the article writer, but clearly there was a reason that it closed down at the end of 2020. B&M do no longer supply the trains that would be right fit for them as his track somewhere, so this could also mean new trains and in turn, new restraints. Now if new restraints are on the cards, then we pray that B&M vest restraints aren't included and we get over the shoulder restraints to keep the ride as close to the original as possible. Now they will report more and we and Coaster Child will report more as soon as we get more information surrounding the rumoured overhaul. So there we go, that is the story, the latest information as of tonight, suggesting the Nemesis overhaul. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, when I first saw stuff about this in the last couple of hours, I was just like, what? And it's been hard trying to recuperate and sort of get my thoughts together about this and whether this is going to be true or not. Um, you know, like the article said, there's been murmurings in the past about the future of Nemesis. However, we don't know anything for sure, for certain, and of course we have to stretch once again that Alton Towers haven't officially confirmed anything yet. So this is just a rumour at this stage. Um, but if an over, if, if what they're talking about in there, an overhaul possibly meaning a retrack and new trains, mate. <laughs> 
this is going to be interesting. Uh, does I mean, if they're going to bring a new track, does that mean that the station's going to get moved around a bit as well? I mean, are we going to see a new queue line? Are we going to see a new uh, type of station? I know, I know they've done the work a couple of years ago on the outside of the station in sort of two phases. Where they think, I think it was 2016 and 2017. Uh, where they did work on parts of the station so they sort of did work to the front half of nemesis station in 2016 and then the following year in 2017 finished off the station work so they did refurbish the station over a two-year period a couple of years ago uh, so it wouldn't really make sense to have a brand new station especially since they only did work a couple of years ago to refurbish the current station and make it look bright and vibrant again but it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen potentially with the overhaul of Nemesis. If it is a retract, could it mean the station track being replaced as well? And to be fair, you know, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean a new station. They could literally just keep the old station and just take out the track inside of it. And make the station look like a bit of a scaffolding tent. But it's going to be interesting. 2021 could be a very interesting year. And I think if they're going to use that entire season to overhaul the coaster... 2022 is going to be like the, the rebirth of Nemesis, we say. And this isn't the first time that an attraction's been overhauled in the Merlin Chain. We've seen loads of different overhauls for many different reasons and in different ways as well. I mean, we've seen it from coasters with air being uh, overhauled to Galactica. There wasn't any track changes with that one, but there was an, an, a bit of a new theming, a new roller coaster restaurant with it. So they have been overhauling air in some way to make Galactica. And, you know, Hocus Pocus Hall at Chessington being renovated into Room on the Broom. That was an overhaul of the attraction. You know, taking out what was inside and bringing something new. So, this is going to be a bigger overhaul than Air into Galactica for definite. 100% guaranteed. If, it's, if this is going to be a retrack and new trains. And possibly even maybe some queue line, you know, changes here and there. And some stuff outside the ride. Then we're looking at a bigger overhaul than Air into Galactica. Which was already a big rehaul. Um, back in 2016. So we're looking at a bigger rehaul here, uh, a refurbishment, should we say. And, you know, Nemesis is a classic, right? We don't, we, we don't want to get rid of it. And to be, to be perfectly honest, I'm much happier with them renovating it rather than letting it rot and die out. So I think that a re renovation and an overhaul uh, and a rehaul, I keep calling it in this video, um... I think at this stage, it's probably the right decision. I think towards the tail end of 2020, it was closed for a reason, you know, maintenance, etc. It was receiving maintenance work as well. So, you know what? I'm a fan of this. I'm not going to say that I'm not a fan of this. As long as it can stay true to the original, I'm a fan of this, you know. I'm happy for them to possibly retract some sections, uh, bring in some new trains. And to be fair, to be, the articles did state, and I'll go back on that point when I said some parts of it being retracked. From the sounds of the article, maybe we're looking at a complete overhaul. We're looking at a complete retracking of the ride. That's why they say it'll take a whole year to renovate Nemesis. So, if this goes ahead and if this is true, what we're looking at here is brand new trains to go along with a complete sort of strip down of the layout and bringing in brand new track. Now, whether that means brand new supports as well, again, we don't know. But... Obviously, you know, like I said on the article, they don't supply the kind of trains that they have for the old track anymore. So if they're going to bring in new trains, they've got to completely rip out the old track and bring in the new one. And again, we don't know if that means new supports as well. So it could be a completely new nemesis for a completely new generation of, of visitors. So, I mean, a next-gen B&M inverted coaster, you know, sort of a... I don't really call it an RMC conversion. First of all, it's not RMC. But this is, it, it does remind me a bit of that, you know. It kind of reminds me of what RMC do with the wooden coasters into hybrids and sort of put inversions on them. This is like, or could potentially be like, B&M converting an old inverted coaster into a next-gen inverted coaster. Now, whether that means they're going to bring in the, the vest restraints, some people have their own opinions on them, um, the, the sort of restraints that you see on, like, Banshee at King's Island... Uh, and sort of the newer inverted coasters. Um, it's going to be interesting to see whether they're going to bring in that vest restraint system or they're going to stay true to the original and bring in the over the shoulder. And you know what? I wouldn't mind either. I've done over the shoulder. It's fine. I haven't done vest restraint yet on an invert. So it'll be a completely new experience. But I am very interested. And to be fair, I think if they are going to do this throughout 2021, I think if 2021 is going to be the year that Nemesis is shut for the entire year, I reckon... 2022, that will be the investment. I don't think there'll be any sort of new attractions. Maybe a CBB's land right here and there, but 
I think that in terms of uh, in terms of 2022, I think that is what we're possibly looking at for 2022. I think that'll be the rebirth of Nemesis. Now, I know what they've done in the past with renovating attractions, you know, bringing in uh, new names for like Air into Galactica, Room on the Broom uh, from the previous Hocus Pocus Hall. So, you know, are they going to bring in a brand new storyline to the Nemesis or are they going to completely bring back the storyline? Because, you know, apart from sort of the soundtrack that we hear in the queue line and, you know, the Nemesis story that was released audio-wise, you know, a few years ago, um, you know, are they going to sort of bring the story back into the ride? Maybe not a pre-show like what Wickerman's got, but sort of bring back the story in a way. So maybe do some en some differences to the queue line, make it more you know, military base, bring more of the phalanx into it and more of the sort of, you know, give a nod to Subterra, you know, what that was and the theme of that story. Sort of bring some Subterra vibes and give a pass nod to Subterra and bring that sort of storyline in with the original Nemesis. So maybe bring in some new theming items, maybe get the red water fountain going down again. I love that, by the way. Um, there's, a, there's a million different things they could do, but I think the main things to take from this is that possibly we're looking at a complete retrack and of the whole layout, not certain sections, but to go with new trains. If they want new trains, it's going to have to be a full like retrack of the layout. So they have to bring in brand new track, rip out the old one. And it's like an RMC conversion. It is literally replacing old track with new track. And this is going to be a next-gen inverted coaster. But again, nothing's officially confirmed yet. This is just a rumor from staff over the weekend. And, you know, Alton Towers haven't officially confirmed anything yet. So, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with this. It's going to be interesting to keep our eyes peeled on this particular story. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this jam-packed news update discussing my thoughts on the rumour of an overhaul of Nemesis at Alton Towers. Make sure you go check out the first video today from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Make sure you go check out all the rest of the videos that are coming this week and into the Christmas months. Don't forget, I think it's last day in the November. Last day in November tomorrow, so uh, we're moving swiftly into Vlogmas on December the 1st, uh, which is going to be 25 videos, channel updates. I think I've sort of worked out what I'm going to do now. It's going to be 25 channel updates, one on each day, basically just saying what I've been doing and what I'm, what I'm, basically what I've been up to on that day. And um, that'll be like a Vlogmas type series. We'll put it on the channel update section of the channel, the series playlist on the channel, so you can guys can keep your eyes peeled on what we do. And uh, it's going to be a good one. So I may do it as channel updates. I may do it as live streams. I may do a I may do one live stream on every single one of the next 25 days in December. Maybe. Who knows? Um, but we'll see how that goes. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chell. Coop, living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nemesis-tastic day.